think that uh, people talk about aging and bandy the words aged wine around and um, the reality is that the number of, of wines that age well are probably about 1%, 2% of the wines made in the world. So if you consider that, the importance of aging is actually not very important at all. At the same time that aging is not important to most people drinking most wine, it's very important to a very discreet number of people in a, in a discreet number of wines, and those are the wines that are the great wines. The First Gros of Bordeaux, Grand Cru Burgundy. Um, there are certain estates in California those Cabernets age beautifully. If you um, consider the definition of, the, of a great wine, one of the requirements is that it has the ability not only to endure, but to improve. But there's a lot that goes into to being able to age a wine, finding the wine that will age, you know, um, keeping it in, in, in perfect storage conditions, and selecting a wine, to go backwards, that has a track record. You're not just arbitrarily aging because you want to think maybe in 10 years it could turn into something, but a wine that there's reason to believe that it would actually uh, benefit you know, from, from cellaring. I think people that are not in, in the world of wine have a, a confused idea about the importance of aging. But what is a well-aged wine? And what, are, what is a well-aged wine got over a young wine? Frankly, because most wine made in the world is meant to be consumed young, it is at its very best within a year or two of the vintage. So I think an aged wine is something that you sort of work your way up to, both in terms of experience and certainly in terms of money. Because, you know, a great bottle of Bordeaux from the 80s could be several thousand dollars. You know, you, you're paying not only for that wine, but for the amount of time that someone has kept that in the cellar because it's a valuable commodity to people that, that want that experience of, of, of an aged wine. But uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a very discreet you know, number of wines and number of people looking for that experience, of course.